Here we are, it's the final day of the Morningstar Investment Conference. In a few minutes, this hall will be filled with attendees. Looking forward to Sarah Newcomb's session about behavioral coaching for advisors. We caught up with Sarah backstage to learn a little bit more about her session. Sarah, you've been leading the conversation in behavioral coaching for quite some time. What are you going to share with the audience at today's session? Well, so today we're going to talk about what it means to be financially healthy because I don't think people have a clear idea of what that means. So we've established a definition and some measurement for that. So I'm really excited to talk about that work. My first slide illustrates financial ill health using the infamous Hetty Green, the witch of Wall Street. I think that advisors will see a bit of their own clients in Hetty. So this talk um, not only identifies what it means to not be financially healthy, but two very simple underlying psychological factors that advisors can make a difference in so that they can actively go back and coach their clients that are in financial ill health to get healthier immediately. Sarah just finished her great session. Be sure to Google the behavioral research team from Morningstar for free resources. Now we're transitioning into the next session, which is a conversation with Larry Fink of BlackRock. Jeff, you did a great job moderating the discussion with Larry Fink this morning. Thanks. How would you summarize what you two talked about today? It was wide ranging, which very much fits Larry. He's He's got a great vantage on the industry, is the chairman and CEO of the world's largest asset manager, and so really he sits at the nexus of regulatory issues, shareholder governance issues, competitive issues, consolidation issues, and not coincidentally we touched on all of those things through the prism of uh, through which Larry views things as, as well as uh, sort of a broader BlackRock and industry perspective. So it was quite useful to gain his insights and, and learn more about BlackRock's plans and, and specifically how, how he thinks that intersects with where advisors are going in the industry at large. Attendees are making their way to the breakout sessions one final time here at the investment conference. I had a chance to connect with Stephen Wendell, one of the presenters in the breakout sessions, to learn more about behavioral science. Stephen, we're just a few minutes before your session, which wraps up the day here at the final day of the Morningstar Investment Conference. How are you going to use your session time to continue the conversation about behavioral science? So we're really focusing on that final piece between the intention to act investors actually take action on the best advice that the advisor has to give. And so we look at why would or why wouldn't an investor take the advice of their advisor, someone paid, expert in their profession who they've asked for this advice. So often we see that there's a gap there. And so we'll talk about why that happens and practically what the advisor can do. As you can see, things are winding down at the Morningstar Investment Conference. It's been a great week. There's been excellent content, excellent speakers, keynote speakers, breakout sessions, and the like. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up on YouTube, subscribe to the Morningstar YouTube channel, and make sure that you interact with everyone from Morningstar. We've been putting their Twitter handles right here in these vlogs. So I hope you enjoyed keeping up with the vlogs for all three days of the Morningstar Investment Conference. Make sure you mark your calendar for June next year for the next Morningstar Investment Conference right here in Chicago. My first slide illustrates financial ill health using the infamous Hetty Green, the witch of Wall Street. Cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> cool, man. <laughs>